Hi everybody, it's Miss Danielle, and today I want to talk about the book Stone Fox. I know most of us are finished or have already finished this story, and I don't want this to be a book that you put on a bookshelf and you never look at again. Obviously, as the reading specialist, I would prefer you reread for fluency and comprehension. However, um, that might not be what you want to do. I understand. Sometimes rereading is boring. It's not fun. Um, but you can challenge yourself by doing something different with this story. And I like to call it search. It's a game that I invented. Um, so what I want you to do is I just want you to pick a page in the book and I want you to pick a word. So my finger landed on the word think. Okay. So I want to find the word think somewhere else. So I can find the word think in a magazine, another book. Um, a newspaper, anywhere you might find the word think, I want you to look. Um, I remember the word think in the Kiwi Kit, um, the, the cartoon. So I'm going to search for the word think really quick because I'm pretty sure it was in here. Oh, there it is. Um, I think we're going to need some more milk right there. All right, so I found the word in another place. Um, if this is too difficult for you to do independently, um, say pre-K, kindergarten, first grade, second grade, whatever, um, you can find the letter somewhere else. So for me, my word was think, so let's find the letter T somewhere. I found the letter T right there. There we go. Um, and then I can find the word, the letter H. If I turn the page, I can find the letter H up here. That one. Okay. So you can do this no matter what skill level you are with this book. You can either search for the same word somewhere new, or you can search for the same letter somewhere new. I'd love to see where you find some of these words and letters. 